Hello and welcome to the JVNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video and the New York Jets. They're bringing in veteran safety Sherrod Nesman, who's going to be um, signing to bring some more depth here for the New York Jets. And he brings a good amount of flexibility um, with him as well, as I know that he can line up, you know, at the nickel corner, um, either safety. Um, I know he was used, he was utilized that a lot, you know, in college. So coming out, that was really the word about him. And so he spent... Um, some time with the Atlanta Falcons. Matter of fact, from 2016 to 2020, he has spent with the Atlanta Falcons, and they actually picked him up as an undrafted free agent um, coming out of Florida Atlantic. You know, but they knew right then. You know, he had great versatility. Some of the strengths that they talked about about um, Sherrod was that he possessed, um, you know, great intel football intelligence. You know, extremely good at diagnosing pre-snap um, reads as to what the offense was planning to do, um, and a lot of this, you know, stems from his hard work off the field. Um, and he also, you know, was pretty quick as well. That's why he was able to play a little bit of college um, at cornerback at the collegiate level as well. And so this certainly is going to be um, a good addition to add some more depth. Obviously, at this point of the year, you know, all the elite players, you know, they're pretty much off the market. And so it's guys like this who have, you know, some high upside to them. And, you know, like all it takes is them to be in the right system, right time. And then, boom, you know, they, they could excel and have a couple of great seasons here. So Sherrod definitely does have a ton of potential to him. In terms of what he's already done, um, going back to his entire time in the league with the Atlanta Falcons, um, he has suited up for 57 games, got to start um, two games, and he has accumulated a total of 80 tackles, including four tackles for a loss, quarterback hit, as well as two fumble recoveries and one sack. So that has been what he's been able to produce so far, including the four pass defenses. Um, and his best year came in 2018 for the Atlanta Falcons, in which that year he actually got to – he recorded 44 tackles that year, including two for a loss and four pass defenses. So he does have that experience with him, and so that will bode well for him in the secondary. For this Jets team, that's certainly trying to change the culture down there in New York, and so they're certainly bringing in some more pieces to try to, you know, put them together and see if they can provide enough support to help Zach Wilson and these um, young Jets, you know, try to take that next step and be more competitive within the division because everybody in their division, they're good and they've only gotten better. So the Jets, you know, they have to make up some ground here. But with that being said, you know, he definitely was tremendous at his time at Florida Atlantic as well. Um, actually, when he was in the college, at, at the collegiate level, I should say, he was a mechanical engineering major. And so, I um, mean, he also was born in Sarasota, Florida. And, um, yeah, going back to his time at college, he was, um, that he was named the team's 2015 Student Athlete of the Year. So that tells you a lot about, you know, how great he was. You know, he had a couple of games in which he had recorded multiple games in which he recorded over like 10 tackles, um, you know, against teams like Tulsa, um, I believe, um, Western Kentucky as well. You know, so he definitely was attacking the machine out there, also making good plays, you know, had some interceptions. Um, I believe that he set a record um, with six interceptions. Um, and so, um, yeah, that certainly, um, yeah, that, that was against, I believe, Charlotte, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he's certainly someone that can go out there and make some um, plays for sure. But with all that being said, um, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and look forward to speaking with you guys next time.